A Fairview Park woman is scrambling to figure out what to do next. She says after nearly seven years at the place she's called home, her family is being forced to leave and she feels like she's being targeted. The apartment complex they live in is in Fairview Park. And this mother says she has just three days to get her stuff and get out. Tonight, News 5's Jesse Schultz spoke to that woman and a housing attorney on what to do if you find yourself in a similar situation. We left it here. We have a sign on the front of our door that says this is our happy place. But now, after seven years living at Lawn Village, Melissa Wilson is packing up. And it was a great place for us, and then um, it took a turn. She lives with her three sons and her husband. She says in May, she got her first violation from apartment management, a noise complaint when she had her son's birthday party. But then, she claims petty complaints started coming regularly. They started um, sending me notices for my garbage in the back. Wilson says she then received a complaint that her oldest son couldn't sleep in the basement, so she moved his room. Then she was told there was a complaint that two other adults lived in the home, which she says was just not true. Last week, she found this notice on her door. I had a three day notice due to violations. She's in shock and is now trying to figure out what to do and where to go. All we do is take care of our kids. We care for everybody around us, you know, and for this to happen is absolutely devastating. I pay my rent on time every month. So just receiving um, some sort of notice from a landlord does not require a tenant to actually move out at that time. Abigail Stout um, is a managing attorney at the housing group. She's not familiar with Wilson's case, but says tenants do have rights and you only have to leave if there's a court ordered eviction. But there has to be a reason for a landlord to get the eviction and minor violations are sometimes hard to prove. They have to actually credibly provide evidence that the tenant has done that. And, um, you know, the tenant has the opportunity to refute that. She says the best thing to do is to resolve the issue out of court. A lot of times just communicating with the landlord and seeking to resolve the issue um, can go a long way. Wilson says the situation is hostile. She doesn't want to go to court, but is desperate to find another place for her family. I have no idea. We have not found a place. Running a house here is like playing the lottery. I don't know what we're going to do. I talked to Lawn Village's property manager. He says he really can't speak on the matter due to legal purposes, but noted that the complex has tried to work with the tenant for a while now. For more on tenant and landlord rights here in Ohio, I've linked resources on our News 5 app to help. Reporting in Fairview Park, Jesse Schultz, News 5.